day 60 of quarantine. I've forgotten I could only say Poyo. Poyo. Welcome, friends. Last guy here, and it's time for the vlog. And this is take two, because take one was all over the place. It was all over the place, baby. All over. Okay, so... What was I talking about? Okay. I don't want to talk about anything negative this time, because things have been really rough this week. Like, there's been a lot of racism, and there's been a lot of shootings, and there's just been a lot of really bad stuff this week, and I just... I've been negative the last couple weeks, so I don't think I want to talk about that. Also because I'm done doing graves. Ah, I'm done doing graves right now, so um, I'd rather be more positive at the moment. Graves have been rough. Uh, things to mention. Okay, so uh, basically, podcast, blah, blah, blah. basically a podcast coming back. Uh, Kirby copyrights. And that's it. Just talk about those things. It's not going to be a very long vlog. Um... Because there's been just so much negative, and I want to focus on that. So let's think about positives. There's not much of it, but uh. so. But one negative thing I got to talk about is the Kirby copyright. So copywriting on YouTube is awful. It's just awful. It's really bad, easily abused, and it's getting abused against us. Why us? Okay, so it's getting abused. Kirby can you say asshole. Asshole. Yes, he can. There we go. Um. So there's a company posing as Nintendo. They're not Nintendo. They say they are, which is not cool. And they're on YouTube, and anyone who has footage of Kirby's, the Kirby's anime, on YouTube gets hit by this company. And it's a weird thing where they don't hit you until you hit 100 views on your video, which is not cool, because I'm trying to get popular here. So, um, we have, of course, the Kirby podcast, Kirby's Dreamcast. And, of course, it, it has a lot of things where we cover the anime. And so we show footage of the anime just as examples, where there's no sound to it, just showing footage of it so you can see what I'm talking about at times. And that's been getting hit with the copyright claim. The thing is, Nintendo does not copyright claim things anymore because people were really mad at Nintendo a couple years ago. So they're like, all right, okay, we were dicks. We were a big bag of dicks. We're not going to do that anymore. So no more copyright claiming unless... You go, unless you're basically doing, like, our new stuff or anything like that, uh, then you might get hit. But none of our, uh, no, none of the older stuff. Like, you can't just go claiming your, you, like, Nintendo things, and then this company goes and claims Nintendo things. So, this company is faking that they're Nintendo, which is not cool. Um, you'll know if it's Nintendo, because Nintendo is Nintendo of America, Nintendo of Japan, might even run to the, uh, European ones, whatever, but it's Nintendo of a thing. Uh, North America, I think, is one, and then Japan is the other one, for the most part, the major ones. And this one's just, Nintendo's copywriting is like, nope, that's not actually Nintendo, that is someone faking. As this company ca called APAB, and they just keep copyright claiming, uh, Kirby footage, and there you go. And here's the bullshit is, they don't own the copyright, but they're saying they do. And if you dispute it, which we're doing, they'll say, no, nah, we still want to keep the claims. Like, are you fuck? We can't, f what are you supposed to do? When it's already a bad faith claim in the first place, of course it's going to say, no, nah, we're going to keep bad faith claiming. What can you do to that? So now we're in repeal, uh, appeal process. And it's like a 40 day process. So right now the videos are blocked. I can only do one at a time. You can do multiple, but it's better to do one at a time in case it goes south because three strikes and you're out, right? So if this fails, I get a strike, despite the fact they don't own this. They don't own the copyright to Kirby or the anime. They don't own the copyright at all. And yet they keep claiming these things. So I got to appeal. And if they can say, no, this appeal doesn't count, that is some bullshit because they don't own it. And I don't know what you can do after the appeal fails. I really don't know what you can do. But whatever comes after that, I guess we'll see. But we gotta wait 40 days for this freaking appeal. Which is not cool, because we definitely release episodes sooner than 40 days. And we'll see what happens with the newest episode. The newest episode is a two-parter episode, and if that gets copyright claimed, I will flip out. Because we put a lot of work into it, and it's a really good episode. And so I guess we'll see. But that sucks. Luckily, that's only the YouTube version. And actually, it's been suggested we might want to put it on Newgrounds, because Newgrounds doesn't do copyright claims, which, yeah, it's Newgrounds, for, of course, and Vimeo as well. Um, So that's something we can consider. 
But of course, there's the podcast version. So the podcast can be found on everywhere but Stitcher and Spotify. Everywhere but those two. So you you look up Kirby's Dreamcast or just Kirby, and you might find us with just Kirby. Kirby's Dreamcast, we're going to be number one. Just Kirby? So here's the thing. You can find us on iTunes, on Google Music Play, on Our Heart Radio, anywhere. Anywhere you have, uh, Podbean, anywhere you can go to get a podcast, we're on there. Except for Stitcher and Spotify, last I checked. That's all you got to do. So because of that, uh, because you can find us on just the general RSS feed, if you just look Kirby, there's like five churches of Kirby ahead of us. Or like six of them. And it's like Kirby Church. Like, it's the actual Christian church. Not someone made a church of Kirby. <laughs> like, some guy named Kirby. So, that's the only competition we have. And some of them are like old ones. It's just like, they're just old and used to be popular. And there's a couple ones that are still current. So, we just gotta beat those. We need to find someone to be more popular than them. So, we pop up first when you look at Kirby. That's the goal. So, once we get to that point, we can go, Hey, Poyo, we're bigger than Jesus. Like, that's what we're trying to do, right? Like, that's what we're trying to do here. Bigger than Jesus? Um, that is the goal. Um, so that's the podcast. So you can still listen to it, you just can't watch some of these episodes. Which is frustrating, because visual representation is nice to have. The gaming episodes should not be hit because uh, they're trying to just capture you on the anime footage. The thing is, so I've got help from someone who has all 100 episodes with the Kirby anime on YouTube. They have all 100 episodes. I remember two or three years ago, they got hit. All the episodes got blocked off. And all the episodes are back on YouTube now. So they were able to beat them. So we're trying. I'm talking to them so I can try to beat them too. That's what's happening there. That's what's, what's up with that. Now, the other thing to talk about is basically a podcast. So this is the third try at bringing it. But this is the third try at it, I guess. Not bringing it back. At third, so second try at bringing it back. Third try at passing your podcast. First time we went for almost a year. Second time we went for like a couple of weeks. And this time we're going to hopefully go more than a couple of weeks and maybe get it going. I think it was, uh, I got too busy and Jinx got too busy on the second one. And then the first one it was, we also got busy, but it was also just a stress and I burned out. So the first thing we did it so many times is I got burned out and the stress of it and everything just couldn't do it. And there was also work was happening, things like that. I think I was finally getting my job. That was the first time. Um, because I remember, I won't name drop who they are. They were like, they were 10k subs back then. They're at 100k subs, so congrats to them. But they were really making it hard to get them as a guest, and we never got to make them a guest because they kept flaking out. So I won't name drop who it is, but that was really frustrating. And so I just like, I, we got new guests, screw it. Like, I was trying to have a guest every week. I was like, well, we don't have a guest, I've been trying and nothing, so screw it. Second time. Uh, we got Mez, we got some other people, it was really fun, but then work happened, where there was some people with work, and I think Jinx got really busy too, so we just couldn't do it, so we just dropped it again. Sometimes projects get dropped, that's what happens. Like with Chad, like we've dropped Chad a few times as well. But the hope is this time we actually will stick it out, at least that's the hope. My goal is to do at least two a month, so that's every two weeks. Four at most, that's every week. And release date I have in mind is Wednesday's Hump Day, because who doesn't like Hump Day? Um, but Monday through Friday is where I'm aiming. Wednesday is what I want, but Monday through Friday is just anywhere in there. Uh, I'm going to meet with Verb. He's going to be the first guest, and we're going to talk to Verb, and that'll be fun. Um, my goal this time is we don't do just now events. If we're talking to certain people, like Verb like to talk about current events, and like what's going on this today or this week. I want to spread it out more to what's going on just right now or in the in the cur in like the recent history kind of thing. So we don't have to be too topical because who knows when the release is going to come out. When it's actually going to come out because of the fact that uh, how long it's going to take to work on because busy but not as busy. So that's the thing. Yeah. So Verb's the first one. I'm going to of course try to get Mez. There's some other guests I'm going to try to get. And I might want to meet, meet back with some of the old content creators we haven't seen in a while, see how they're doing, because it's been a while I haven't talked to them, because uh, work has just made me very busy within myself. Um, I just, I'm just bad at keeping up with everyone, I really am. But I'm also going to try to get developers, so I think I'm going to try... My goal is, once an episode's in the can, just try to get the next guest. That's what I'm going to do, just take it a, a little bit at a time, so I'm not too stressed out here. 
And so after Verb, the next goal is going to be, let's see if Mez wants to do it. And also I'm going to talk to some developers and see what, if they're interested. And I'm going to try to get the developers a good job from this, from Switch. That'll be good. If I can get any of them, that'd be kind of fun to learn about. I'm also going to see if I can get a hold of anyone from an Untitled Goose Game. I really want to learn about that one. And like those are the developers I have in mind right now. And maybe someone from the one shots. I'll maybe try to find one of those developers to talk to. Those are the three uh, figures I'm going to put out for indie. Those are what I'm going to do right there. Content creators. Um, there's a couple I have in mind and we'll see who we get. Just expect familiar faces. Honestly, with the quarantine, people shouldn't be hard to get, but you never know. You really never know. Well, with game developers, they can probably work from home for a lot of things anyway. So, but we'll see. We'll see what we can get. But I'm going to try to do that. And the goal is to actually get it going and have it be an actual permanent thing. But we'll see what happens. Because, well, we'll see what happens. But I want to do this again. I want to keep doing it because it was fun doing this before. And I want to do it again. But we got to meet some pretty cool people. My favorite podcast episode from Basically Podcast, which I, which not counting my friends, obviously, um, is with Asymmetric. People from Kingdom of Loathing, West of Loathing, I've been big fans of those guys for 10 plus years. Talking to them was awesome. Learning so much about just what they've done and I just relating the humor they do is just so good. I love those guys. That was great. That was really awesome. Uh, talking to Shell in the Pit was my second favorite for sure. Just learning about sound and things like that. That was really cool. And just, I've been a fan of his soundtracks for a long time. So that was really awesome. And it's bad I never got to talk to a sound person. But it just, that was when we kind of burned down around that time. So there are some great interviews we had before. And I want to have some great ones in the future. So that'll be really cool. So we'll see what we can do. But the goal, as always, is talking to creators. And con with gaming as the as the main Ben, but if we get anyone who's not in gaming who's just really interesting, that's cool too. I'd like to do that as well. But the main goal is gaming if we can get to gaming people. So let's see here. Uh, Kirby stuff. So I've just basically been talking about both podcasts. That's what I've been talking about here. Uh, other things. Uh, Miles Edgeworth, Ace Attorney Investigations is the current LP. It's a voice LP. Some of the voices are really consistent. Some could use some work. Really enjoying it, though. I've come to the realization that I should be more... To get more into character, I can move a little bit more. That's a realization. I just got to make sure I don't mess the chair up too much. Because it can make noises while... It's not making any noises right now. This thing squeaks, and it's not squeaking right now. What is this? Um, But this chair can make noises while I'm doing things. So I got to be careful of that. But just moving around, getting more into character while talking really helps the voices better. So that's something I've come to finally realize after this many freaking LPs of uh, voice LPs. But it's been pretty fun. I'm liking this game a lot. Um, After that is most likely to be XCOM Chimera Squad. Really fun game. Like it a lot. It's a $20 XCOM game. And I'm just enjoying it a lot. It's really fun. It's like, it's after XCOM 2. That's basically what it is. Just the aftermath of XCOM 2. What's happening with that. And it's fun. I like it a lot. Uh, Doom Eternal is having some DLC coming out in a little bit, so maybe we'll look at that as well. Uh, we'll see. I don't really have any games I have in mind, uh, as far as new releases until Cyberpunk 2077. I can, however, just go back and ask my community, like, what is a game right now that you might want to see, uh, until Cyberpunk 2077 comes out? Like, new game or old game, things like that. A game that came out that we missed the boat on, but we can still cover is Ori. The second Ori game did come out, so I'm gonna put out to vote. Like, would they like? Would my community like to see Ori? Would they like to see uh, maybe Fallen Order or is Fallen Fallen Order? Fallen Ki not Fallen Kingdom. Fallen Order, I think it is. That Star Wars game. Maybe they want to see that. Maybe something else. Maybe they want to see the next Layton game. I don't know, but I, I I'll put that out to my community eventually. Right now we have other LPs happening. Um, side channel has Animal Crossing LP. Like, I'm not very interesting in that at all. I come to realize I'm actually really boring in these, so I've been trying to talk more in those outside of the game. Just talking about just random things or facts or about the villagers. Uh, since mostly it was just me like, okay, let's go hit some rocks. Okay, let's do some trees and things like that. So I realized, like, that's boring. So I've been talking more about just things about the game or just interesting things going on with me, kind of. Uh, just things like that. 
And then there's also still indies going on over there on the side channel, and Valorant is happening as well. Valorant's not bad. I enjoy it. It's fun, but I don't know. I also don't think it's... I don't think it deserves to be the number one spot on Twitch right now, but I get it because what else is out there that's new? But it's it's not... It's because of the way they're they're manufacturing their numbers. But it's fun, but it's not. This is the best game on Twitch fun. At least I don't think so. Every Saturday we're doing D&D. At some point I'll put the D&D videos on the side channel. d and is very interesting and fun. I have read about... 80 pages into the handbook. I need to read another 80 pages into the handbook. Then I'm done reading the handbook for the most part for D&D. And then I gotta read the DM's book. And it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while on... Um, before I try to DM myself. But it's been fun, and hopefully the fun stays so that we just keep wanting to do it. Might change the night at some point if we if just people's schedules change, but right now it works for me. The way it works for me is I can just do n any night, honestly, um, for the next four, four months. I can do any night. And then eventually I'll have to have a specific night. And Because the way it works is... For two months out of every seven months in the cycle of my job, uh, my evenings get taken away because of swing. Uh, swing is an afternoon shift. That's what that one is. And so on certain days, it is uh, Tuesday to Friday for one month, and then it's Saturday to Monday for another month. But that's the only time my evenings are interfered with. So for like... One month, either we shift when it is, or we just, I, there, that's the break between campaign right there. For one month, kind of thing. Unless overtimes happen. So the thing I've decided is, if I get to DM, and I have to cancel because of overtime, then since I'm, well, no, one, no one's going to have to enjoy me for that night, I'm just going to give everyone that's in my campaign something. Because when Scarf has overtime, Scarf's making bank. So I may as well as um, half of that money for me, the other half goes to the people who I unfortunately have to disappoint since I didn't get to do the uh, the, the campaign that night. So I think that's what I'm going to do whenever I do overtime. I'm like, all right, well, some of the money's going to go to my people. And so they get to enjoy something as, a, my, as an apology for us not having the game that night. That's the plan. I could always just not have fun with D&D &D and then decide not to do it anymore. Scarf does get burned out on things and just not do them anymore. But I don't know how it would be for D&D. &D. So the way D&D &D most likely would be uh, if the party just doesn't stick together. Like if we just, not enough people show up every time we want to do this. And so we just don't, we just stop because we don't have enough players. That's most likely the way it'll go because I'm having some ideas that I want to do for this game. Why I stopped doing other things before? Like things that I was really addicted to. Like TFT. Why did I stop doing TFT? Because season two sucked. I hated season two of TFT. That's why we stopped doing TFT. Season 3 is out, we could be playing that, but right now Valorant and a bunch of other projects are happening, so we're not playing TFT right now. Uh, what happened to Apex? I really enjoyed Apex Season 1. Again, Season 2 sucked. I don't know what's happening. We could come back for Season 4 of Apex, but no, I think we're done. I think that ship has sailed. We were really addicted to it, but now we're done. Dauntless was really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Again, Season 2. No. Well, when it came to Dauntless, Monster Hunter World came. That's what happened to Dauntless. Dauntless was really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. But then World happened, and all interest in Dauntless went away. Because I was enjoying playing World. We don't have any content on either channel for Monster Hunter World, I know. Um, that's just one of those games where like, yeah, this is... I'll just play on my own. Um, game's really fun. I should have made content at some point on the side channel. Or the main channel for it, but I never did. Really good game, though. Because yeah, I love Monster Hunter. Um, yeah, I just, there are times when I'm getting really into something and then I just get cold on it. Like, oh, I gotta do a one-shot in Mountain Blade 2. So Mountain Blade 2 comes out on Early Access. It's already a really good game. In the first week, I spent 60 hours on it. In the second week, another 6 hours. I have over 100 hours on Mountain Blade 2 in Early Access. And then I just stopped playing it for two weeks. I haven't done the one-shot on it. The, the thing about it is they're still, they've been patching it every day, which I appreciate about that game. They've been patching it every day. But I just burned myself out of it, I guess. And I just don't know if I should even cover it yet. Because they keep making changes to this thing. To the point that if I did a one-shot now, oh, it ain't going to be the same game in a month. 
that's what, how many changes they're making to it. And it's really interesting because I like the changes they're making. I think they're good changes. It's just like, well, now it's very different from what it was before. So I can't, I don't, it'd be a very out of date one shot real quick. That's why you got to be reluctant on, on early access ones. Like, unless it's already really good and you know, they're not going to completely change it kind of thing. Although we did get hit with that with Aratus. So Aratus was kind of weird. We did a one shot and that is we did Aratus like two weeks before release. And then at release, they changed a bunch of the things like what the, what the hell? What? All right. They get they made the game better. But it was also like, what the hell? This is completely different. That was a really weird just difference in early access and then release kind of concept, which I you, don't do that. Don't do that. That's that's not good. That's not good at all. But that's the thing that happened. I forget a game where the early access was very different from the released version. It's happened before. I can't remember what game it was. But the released version I did not like as much as the early access version. Which just killed the game for me. There was... Oh, what was the game? Do not remember. Nope, nope, can't remember. It's something on Steam that I played a lot of in early access, but I just did not like the released version. Oh, now I remember uh, Rise of Industry. Rise of Industry and early access... Love that game. I spent way too much time on that game. Way too much time. Release version? Not fun. I don't enjoy it. I don't like it at all. Some people really like it. I don't. I don't enjoy it whatsoever, which is unfortunate. Because I really like the early access version. Apparently I gotta go back to an older version to enjoy it again. Um, that should be enough with the vlog. Uh, San Diego is... is gonna... well, California's gonna slowly come out of the quarantine. But me, I'm not coming out of quarantine just yet. Like, I'm essential, so I've been coming out anyway. But I mean actually doing things. I'm not going to come out of quarantine until either we get zero cases in San Diego or we get the vaccine. That That's it. Or uh, I've been asymptomatic the whole time. Like, those are the three things it could be. How's this look on the camera? It's one of these three things. Like, one of these three things uh, is the only way I'm coming out. That's it. Or a girl happens, then maybe I'll come out for that. Those are the only ways. Um, yep. I already forgot the four reasons I gave. What was it? Uh, zero people have it in, in here. I already have it. I'm asymptomatic. We have the vaccine. Or a girl. Yep, yep. Those are the reasons right there. There you go. Um, so that's the vlog. Yep, I have fun talking about people watching and listening. That's what's all about. Isn't it? Uh, now I remember Kirby's Block Ball is going to be the next game we're going to do for the podcast, which will be in like two podcasts, I think. So, okay, that's the vlog. I have fun talking about people watching. That's what's all about. Isn't it? Having fun. Thanks for coming by and see you next time. Oh, this version, I forgot to talk about why I haven't shaved. Not too late.